beautiful cabin crew's miracle in mud and sky. Written by my son who wrote this with his own hand. Narrated by Scarlett Johansson. Chapter 1. Soaring Skies and Faithful Hearts In the bustling city of Seoul, the sound of planes taking off and landing filled the air, a constant reminder of the modern world's relentless pace. Among the many flight attendants who graced the skies with their service, a special group of women stood out. They were united not just by their profession, but by their deep and unwavering faith in Jesus Christ. This group, affectionately known as the Heavenly Crew, was renowned for their dedication, kindness, and the peace they brought to every flight. May, Hannah, Yuna, and Suki had been friends long before they donned their uniforms. They met at church, bonding over their shared experiences and the challenges of working in the airline industry. Their faith was a beacon that guided them through the turbulent skies and grounded them during the most chaotic flights. One evening, as they prepared for a long-haul flight to Rome, the crew gathered in a quiet corner of the airport chapel. The ambience was serene, with soft hymns playing in the background. Kneeling together, they held hands and bowed their heads in prayer. Dear Lord, May began, her voice soft yet steady, please bless this flight and keep us safe. Guide our hands and hearts as we serve our passengers. May we be instruments of your peace and love. Hannah, with her eyes closed tightly, added, and may we feel your presence with us, no matter where we go. As they finished their prayer, a sense of calm enveloped them. They felt ready to face any challenge that might come their way. Little did they know that their faith was about to be tested in ways they could never have imagined. Chapter 2. A Miracle in the Making The flight to Rome began smoothly. The passengers were settled, the in-flight service was running without a hitch, and the sky outside was clear. May and her friends moved gracefully through the cabin, their smiles lighting up the atmosphere. Their kindness did not go unnoticed. Passengers often remarked on how the presence of the heavenly crew made their journeys feel blessed. As the plane soared above the clouds, the crew took turns resting. May found herself a quiet spot near the back of the plane, opened her Bible, and began to read. Her favorite passage was from Psalm 91, which spoke of God's protection. The words filled her with a deep sense of peace. Hours into the flight, turbulence struck unexpectedly. The plane shook violently, waking passengers and alarming the crew. May and her friends quickly buckled up, reassuring the passengers with calm and practiced ease. Everything will be fine, May said, her voice unwavering. Please remain seated with your seatbelts fastened. The turbulence persisted, growing stronger by the minute. Suddenly, the plane plunged downward and the oxygen masks deployed. Panic spread through the cabin like wildfire. Hannah, Yuna, and Suki worked tirelessly to maintain order, their faith shining through their actions. In the midst of the chaos, May closed her eyes and prayed fervently. Lord, we need your help. Please protect us and our passengers. As if in response to her prayer, a blinding light filled the cabin. May opened her eyes to see a figure standing at the front of the plane. He was unlike anything she had ever seen, a being half-man, half-prawn. His upper body was that of a man, with kind eyes and a serene expression, but his lower body was covered in shimmering prawn scales, glistening like precious jewels. The passengers and crew stared in awe and disbelief. The prawn man raised his hand, and the turbulence ceased instantly. The plane stabilized, and a hush fell over the cabin. Do not be afraid, the prawn man said, his voice gentle yet powerful. I am here to protect you. May and her friends exchanged glances, their hearts pounding with a mixture of fear and wonder. Could this be a manifestation of their faith, an answer to their prayers? Chapter 3. The Revelation The prawn man walked down the aisle, his presence exuding a sense of calm and reassurance. As he passed by, the passengers felt their fears melt away, replaced by a profound sense of peace. He stopped in front of May and her friends, his eyes filled with compassion. You have prayed for guidance and protection, he said, his voice echoing with divine authority. I am here to show you the way. May, unable to contain her curiosity, asked, Who are you? The prawn man smiled. 
I am Jesus Christ in a form that may seem unusual to you, but know that my love and power transcend all forms. I have come to remind you of the strength of your faith and the power of prayer. Tears welled up in May's eyes as she fell to her knees. Her friends followed suit, bowing their heads in reverence. Thank you, Lord, for answering our prayers. Jesus extended his hand, lifting May and her friends to their feet. Your faith has brought you this far. Continue to trust in me, and you will find the strength to overcome any obstacle. With that, he vanished as suddenly as he had appeared, leaving the cabin filled with a sense of awe and wonder. The rest of the flight was smooth, and the passengers disembarked in Rome, many of them unaware of the miracle that had occurred at 30,000 feet. Chapter 4 A Journey Through Faith The encounter with the prawn man Jesus left a lasting impact on May and her friends. They continued their work with renewed vigor, their faith stronger than ever. Word of the miracle spread among their colleagues, and soon, the heavenly crew became known not just for their service, but for their unshakable faith. One day, while on a layover in a small village in Thailand, the crew decided to visit a local church. The village was nestled amidst lush greenery, with a serene river flowing nearby. The church was a simple wooden structure, but it radiated a sense of sacredness. As they entered the church, they were greeted by the local priest, Father Ananda. He welcomed them warmly and invited them to join the evening prayer service. The crew knelt on the wooden pews, their hearts open to the experience. During the service, Father Ananda spoke about the power of faith and the miracles that come to those who believe. His words resonated deeply with May and her friends. After the service, they shared their story with him, describing their encounter with the prawn man Jesus. Father Ananda listened with great interest. Your experience is a testament to the boundless nature of faith, he said. Miracles often come in forms we least expect. Your story will inspire many to believe in the power of prayer. As the crew prepared to leave, Father Ananda handed them a small, intricately carved wooden cross. Take this as a symbol of your faith and a reminder that Jesus is always with you, in any form. Chapter 5 The Test of Faith Months passed, and the memory of the prawn man Jesus remained vivid in the minds of May and her friends. They continued to serve with dedication, their faith a guiding light in their daily lives. However, their faith was about to be tested once more. On a flight from Tokyo to New York, the crew encountered severe weather. A massive storm loomed ahead, with lightning illuminating the dark clouds. The captain announced that they would need to make an emergency landing due to engine failure. Panic spread through the cabin as the plane began to descend rapidly. May, Hannah, Yuna and Suki moved quickly to calm the passengers, their own hearts filled with a mixture of fear and hope. As the plane hurtled towards the ground, May closed her eyes and prayed with all her might. Lord, please help us. We need a miracle. At that moment, the plane lurched violently and they found themselves enveloped in a thick, murky fog. The plane landed with a heavy thud, skidding to a halt in what felt like a vast expanse of mud. The emergency exits were deployed, and the passengers and crew evacuated into the muddy terrain. The storm raged on, with rain pouring down in torrents. May and her friends helped guide the passengers to safety, their uniforms soaked and muddied. As they huddled together in the mud, seeking shelter from the storm, May led her friends in prayer. Lord, we trust in you. Please protect us and show us the way. Suddenly, the same blinding light that had filled the cabin months ago appeared once more. The prawn man Jesus stood before them, his presence a beacon of hope amidst the chaos. Do not be afraid, he said, his voice cutting through the storm. I am here to guide you. With a wave of his hand, the storm began to subside. The rain lessened, and the clouds parted, revealing a clear sky. The mud beneath their feet began to dry, solidifying into firm ground. You have shown great faith, Jesus said, his eyes filled with pride. Continue to trust in me, and you will find the strength to overcome any adversity. May and her friends knelt in the mud, their hearts overflowing with gratitude. Thank you, Lord, May whispered, her voice choked with emotion. We will never doubt your power and love. 
Chapter 6. The Ascension The crew and passengers were soon rescued and taken to safety. The miraculous events were reported widely, with many attributing their survival to a higher power. May and her friends continued their work, their faith now known to people far and wide. The heavenly crew became symbols of hope and faith in the airline industry. Their story inspired many to believe in the power of prayer and the presence of miracles in everyday life. One evening, as they gathered for their usual prayer session in the airport chapel, they felt a sense of completeness. Their journey had been filled with challenges, but their faith had guided them through every storm. As they prayed, May felt a gentle touch on her shoulder. She looked up to see the prawn man Jesus standing before them once more. His eyes were filled with a gentle, loving light. You have fulfilled your mission with great faith and courage, he said. Now, it is time for you to ascend to new heights. With that, a radiant light enveloped the crew, lifting them upwards. They felt a sense of peace and joy, knowing that they were being guided by the divine hand of Jesus. As they ascended, they looked down upon the world, their hearts filled with love and gratitude. They knew that their journey was far from over and that their faith would continue to guide them, no matter where they were. And so, the heavenly crew soared into the heavens, their spirits united with the divine, ready to embark on new adventures and spread the message of faith and love to all who would listen. Epilogue, The Legacy of Faith Years passed, and the story of the heavenly crew became legend. Their encounter with the prawn man Jesus was told and retold, inspiring countless souls to believe in the power of faith and the presence of miracles. In the bustling city of Seoul, a small chapel was built in their honor. Pilgrims from all over the world visited, seeking solace and inspiration. The chapel's walls were adorned with paintings depicting the miraculous events, and a wooden cross, a gift from Father Ananda, hung prominently at the altar. Inside the chapel, a group of flight attendants knelt in prayer, their hearts filled with hope and faith. They were the new generation, ready to take to the skies, guided by the legacy of the heavenly crew. As they prayed, a gentle breeze filled the chapel, and for a moment, they felt the presence of the prawn man Jesus, his love and guidance enveloping them. They knew that they were not alone and that their faith would carry them through any storm. And so, the legacy of the heavenly crew lived on, a testament to the enduring power of faith and the miracles that come to those who believe. The end.